All right, guys. I'm gonna do a little video here showing how to uh, change a motor out. This is my Bugs 2C. Which I'm currently working on a project, the, the Dirty Bird project. Make sure you uh, take a look for that on my channel. But uh, purpose of this video is we're going to be showing you how to change a motor out. What I'm doing here is I'm not changing my motor out because it's bad. I'm upgrading motors and I'm installing into my Bugs 2, the Bugs 3 motors. So what you want to do first is we want to expose the ESC here. So just carefully I get my little side cutters in there and I just start tearing the shrink tube back. I fully take it off and we're going to put a new piece of shrink tube on this after. There we go. Okay, the shrink tube's off. I'm just going to take my replacement piece here that I've already pre-cut to the length I want. And what we want to do here is we've got three wires that we have to desolder from the board here. So we've got a red one, a black one, and a yellow one. Pay attention to which order these wires are in and what motor you're putting in. This is my clockwise motor and it goes yellow, black, red. On the counterclockwise it goes yellow, red, black. So just pay attention to the orientation of the wires on the board and make sure you're putting in the correct motor and there won't be an issue. Okay so first thing I do here is we've got to desolder all three wires maybe take a picture of what you're doing before you do it so you don't uh, mix up the orientation okay so keep in mind your orientation and if you're confused at all which way might go just double check on the motor that is diagonal so this motor is yellow black red okay and we always work from left to right so yellow is always on your left and then your black or red is what switches up. We're prepping our motor now. We're just going to strip out the wires. We're just stripping wires. We're going to dip them in some flux. Get our soldering iron out and some solder. We're going to get a little bit of solder onto the end of this iron. We're just going to tin the ends of these wires. Always part of prepping is get some solder on those wires. Okay, you're going to remember to take that shrink tube. We're going to open it up here. And we're going to just run it through, run our wires from our motor through it, and just put it aside for now. Now we're going to grab our soldering iron. Get that yellow wire on. Make sure you have a solid connection, you don't need any poor connections here. Okay, so at this point, we remembered our yellow was on always on our left there, but where is our uh, black and red go? Well, we're going to look at the other motor on the opposite side. I can see the black is the middle. And that does spark my memory, so the black is the middle. Part of the reason why you would take a picture too. I always take pictures in case I need something to go back to. And our red is our last connection here. There we go. We're connected there, we're gonna 
take that off of the soldering station clamp there. Get that back out in here. Everything looks good. Nothing's touching. Just gonna make a little adjustment here. All right, there we go. Everything's good. We got three good connections there. We're gonna take our shrink tube now that we've slid over before we soldered, run it over the ESC covering all the electronics and our connections that we just made. So we're going to put a little heat to it, not to overdo the heat. A lot of sensitive electronics in there. have it and that's all there is to it now you can do this while it's still in the drone I might find it to be a little bit harder to do while it's in the drone simply because there's a lot more going on in there a tighter place for me since I was doing this build already the dirty bird project right there I already had the electronics the board taken out so it was no issue for me but key things to remember make sure you're putting the right motor on to the right ESC make sure your wires are in the right orientation and always take a picture always I can't stress enough take a picture the alternative option to taking everything out would be just to unscrew your motor, pull it out like so, work on your ESC, put it back in, close her up, and you're good to go. So, all right guys, appreciate you checking this one out. Make sure you uh, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you already haven't, and remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.